pressure-activated bypass valve, commonly referred to as the bypass, functions as an automatic flow regulator for the pumping system. The objective of the bypass is to permit the greatest flow of ammonia to the nurse tank loading risers while protecting the pump from excessive pressure buildup. This pressure buildup is commonly referred to as pressure differential or PSID. Pressure differential is the difference in pressure from the pump when not operating to when the full flow of the pump is being routed back into the storage tank through the bypass valve and piping. The pressure differential is measured by the 0 to 400 PSI rated pressure gauge positioned in the discharge side of the pump. The pressure gauge is used to adjust the pressure activated bypass. The bypass and piping must be designed and sized to take the full flow from the pump back into the storage tank at an acceptable pressure differential. The following is a step-by-step -step procedure for setting a pressure-activated bypass. First, attach liquid and vapor riser hoses to the nurse tank valves and open the valves. Next, open the riser valves and start the pump. Ammonia is now being transferred into the nurse tank. Slowly close off the liquid riser valve. If the pump pulls down, riser excess flow valve snaps shut, or an excessive PSID is created as indicated by the 0 to 400 PSI pressure gauge, shut off the pump. The bypass spring is either out of adjustment or the spring is too heavy, that is, has too high of a pressure differential rating to open. If the bypass spring is too heavy, a correctly rated spring will need to be installed. The bypass may need to be thoroughly cleaned, lubricated, and new gaskets and o-rings installed and adjusted. If the bypass is working as intended, continue to slowly close the liquid riser valve. Upon complete closure of the liquid riser valve, the full flow from the pump is now being routed through the bypass back into the storage tank. If needed, Use the 0 to 400 PSI pressure gauge at the discharge side of the pump to adjust the pressure activated bypass to take the full flow of the pump without pulling down on the pump motor, premature closure of liquid riser excess flow valves, and at a pressure differential range of approximately 30 to 50 PSID. Next, open the liquid riser valve completely and fill an empty 1,000 gallon nurse tank. Record the time it takes to fill the nurse tank to the 85% liquid level using the float and 85% fixed liquid level gauges. A slight adjustment to the bypass may need to be made to achieve a flow close to 60 gallons per minute for a two inch pumping system and 70 gallons per minute for a three inch pumping system. This will allow for the filling of one 1,000 gallon nurse tank to the 85% level in approximately 12 to 14 minutes.